The internet collapsed on itself recently when people on Google discovered that the runtime found in the search results for Transformers The Last Night was listed at three hours and two minutes. Mm. The Lawrence of Arabia of giant robot movies <laughs> comes out in three weeks on June 21st. And to assure fans that they wouldn't have to schedule in three bathroom breaks, director Michael Bay took to Twitter to calm the masses by debunking the Google search. He said on Twitter, reports of Transformers The Last Night being over three hours is wrong. It's shorter than the last three movies by a lot. Roca, since Bay says the movie will be shorter than the last three, buy or sell the last night's runtime under two hours and 30 minutes. Well, first, before I buy or sell anything, <laughs> I know who writes the notes for these things. Oh, oh and he should just put at the end, hashtag shade. He just should say that, throwing shade. Because I see the Lawrence of Arabia, the, the, the snooty little comments. Yeah, I get it. Right. I get it, Mark Riley. <laughs> Saucy. Current quote unquote champ, as Steph Curry might say. Listen. Listen, <laughs> Transformers, the last night should be three hours and two minutes. I was actually excited when oh. they said three hours and two minutes. I was like, well, this means I can have a couple of stouts while I'm watching this movie. This is awesome at the arc light. But unfortunately, he's, uh, Michael Bay is saying it's going to be less time. I, I don't know. I have a tough time buying what Michael Bay says because he'll say one thing and they'll like, he'll like kind of finagle it or play, with the, play within the, you know, like mess around with the, with the holes in his statement a little bit. And so I think it will be less time. It's probably because they think this is going to make a crap ton of money. So you want to have as many screenings of it as possible. I mean, the last one made one and a half billion dollars. That's not anything to sneeze at. So for one installment, not as a franchise, for one installment. So I think they want to have as many uh, screenings of this film as possible. And also I think he understands the backlash and the studio probably does too they don't want to make it so so uh long that people are like i'm not going for three hours and two minutes plus prices are rising on films so it's like people don't want to necessarily spend as much if they're not gonna if they're gonna uh, not enjoy the experience fully and be in there for three hours and two minutes plus trailers plus credits because there's gonna so, be so you're credits. selling this thing i'm so, yeah i'm selling that it's gonna that it's gonna be shorter shorter yeah i think okay. he's gonna be two hours and 45 i really okay. do um, uh, everyone knows what I think about the movie franchise, even though I, it's a beloved uh, t television cartoon and toy series for me when I was growing up. But I actually buy this. I buy this a lot because, look, there's many problems with the Transformers movie franchise, and one of them is the length. I mean, you're sitting in there, and it's not moving the story's not moving, and like you're not feeling a lot of the stuff. And then they instead they just make it even longer. I mean, what was how long was the last? Two one? hours and forty-five. Yeah, minutes. Jesus Christ! But that one made up one and a half billion dollars. Yeah, but <laughs> the only reason they do that is because Michael Bay wants it that yeah, long. The studio true. doesn't want it that long. True. Um, and I'm actually glad that hopefully, if he's telling the truth, that that he sees, oh look, people don't actually want it to be longer. Mm. That that people actually want it to be shorter, and it, it's it, something maybe a mistake that he realizes. So I actually applaud him for that. Ellis? Look, Dennis, I want to make this clear. Roka's good at some stuff, okay? Um, I just think he's totally way off base here with everything he said about Transformers. Right from the start, when you say you're bringing a stout beer to a... <laughs> Transformers, the last night, is not a stout kind of movie. What? It's a case of Natty Light at best. You bring it in there and you start chugging, and hopefully you stop chugging after two hours because these movies do not need to be longer than two hours. And it doesn't make sense from a film story standpoint, first of all, but also from a marketing standpoint or a studio viewpoint because you want less runtime so you can have more showings of these movies. Yes. Age of Extinction made one and a half billion dollars worldwide. It might break two if you make it shorter and you allow for more playings of these stupid movies. Now, I think that the last night, when I saw that the runtime was going to be three hours, my first thought was actually something positive, where I'm like, sweet, we're going to spend a lot of time in the Arthurian medieval mm. look. Maybe we get some, some solid World War II stuff in there. Then we get to the future, the present, wherever the hell we're going from here. But then I was also like, yeah, three hours. If the movie starts going bad, like Age of Extinction started going bad, it is just such a, you're just squirming in your seat for the last hour and a half. And I just don't want to deal with that again, Dennis. I don't want to be <laughs> waiting there and trying to time my pee break against when the Dinobots show up. Like they, like they waited to reveal them at like hour 230 or whatever for Age of Extinction. So I want to see Transformers. I want to see what you can give me in two hours. And I want to see a lot of King Arthur. You're a crotchety old man. <laughs> <laughs> You're a crotchety old man. Yeah. I, I like me a beer during a movie. <laughs> right. But I don't like to drink a whole lot of beer in a movie that makes me feel like someone's <laughs> shaking my head for three hours. Oh. That that does not mix very well. So I will not be having any beer during any Transformers movie, <laughs> no matter how long.
long it is. Um, I'm gonna believe Michael Bay though, because I think it's a. I think it would be a little bit of an extreme thing to actually flat out lie like that on Twitter, because everyone, at every single website now has a screenshot of that tweet. If that movie comes out and it is in fact longer than all the other movies, oh. he's gonna he's gonna get a good deal of shit for that. And you know, I I wouldn't mind a two hour Transformers movie because. I've told you this before. I don't. I don't like the last three Transformers movies. I really like that first one, mm -hmm. but just because I don't like that those last three does not mean I'm going into this one thinking like I can't wait to hate on this. This mm. is going to be god awful. I want it to be bad. I want it to be good. Sure. But I will say that if it came to light that the runtime of the movie was really three hours, I w I don't think I'd be able to hold that hope and positivity together mm. the same way because whether it's a Transformers movie or an, or an Oscar movie, anything, we'll talk about this more later too, it is very difficult to justify a three-hour runtime. So I, I'm buying this because I really hope it's true. It's difficult because, I mean, by a lot. He means by a lot. So if he, if we're talking a two-hour movie. Thank well, I, I, okay, and so... Because it seems like an... Ex the, from the so trailers, he's, it's expansive. All these decades and periods. Plus, if we're going out to the origin planet of the Transformers, that's a lot that you're talking about. To shove all that into two hours, I think, is going to be really, well, you really had, tough. I, I think Age of Extinction was, what, 240? Age and, of Extinction yeah. was 245, 245, and the shortest of the series was the first one, yeah. which is two hours and 23 minutes. But he minutes. said if the last two, Dark of the Moon, was 237, I think. 234. So if, if this movie is like... If this movie's 215... That's a that, 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 that's a good number for me. Two but is fifteen hours. minutes a lot? Huh? Is fifteen minutes a lot? <laughs> it, it's about. So, look, look. When you're being tortured, it's a lot, right? So <laughs> when you go from three Same hours to two hours. Rim. Rim. <laughs> <laughs> And also, Ellis, you don't have to stay for the whole movie. You I can leave. Uh, well, They've well, got your well, money already. You can leave. Yeah, they, but they, he's got to review it. Oh, no, that's true. true. Yeah, that's that's, true. that's a Transformers <laughs> pull quote right there. You can leave. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, something you can actually do. Most put it right on the poster. <laughs> if you go to a movie and you're having like a, a horrible time and you hate the movie or like somebody's annoying you in the theater, I think within the first 45 <laughs> minutes, most theaters will give you your money yes, back. Yes, true. Now, that's like one-tenth of a Transformers running time. But if you find out in the first 45 minutes that this is just like every other Transformers movie, you can go and get your money back, just to put it out there.